Hi everyone, today is April 30th, 2021. It is 4 o'clock p.m. and the temperature is 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. And in this video, I'm going to walk along York Avenue in the Upper East Side of Manhattan to Carl Schurz Park from the base of the 59th Street Bridge, otherwise known as the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. But let's get started. Here at the intersection of 59th Street and Sutton Place, which will turn into York Avenue as soon as I cross over the street. This bridge here, the 59th Street Bridge, connects Midtown Manhattan at 2nd Avenue and 59th Street. What's up, dude? The guy sees I'm crossing the street. I'm not stopping. But that's just how drivers are in New York. Regardless if I'm slow or quick, I'm crossing the street. I see you. You gotta wait. There across the street, we got a city bike bike sharing station with not too many bikes in the dock. Actually, there's uh, three electric bicycles in the dock and one regular bicycle. So that's pretty uh, interesting. Here's the M31 bus, which runs along York Avenue and then cuts across 57th Street. And here's the M57, which just ends over here. This one's actually easier to remember because M57 just goes across 57th Street. So I actually want to show you something a little bit neat across the street here. There's a public park that's um, not really known by too many people. Here we got another view of the bridge along with the cables for the Roosevelt Island tram. The tram, you can ride it with the cost of a metro card and it connects Roosevelt Island to the base of the Queensboro Bridge, 2nd Avenue and 59th Street. Now York Avenue is mostly a residential strip. There's actually a lot of residential uh, high-rise buildings here. But you will find a lot of um, old school type homes as well. There's also uh, the Cornell Whale, uh, Whale Memorial Sloan Hospital. So there's the public park I was talking about over here. Do not enter. It's pretty neat that you think this is kind of like a ramp to a highway, but it's actually a public park. And there's the tram above me. Also, if you like to look at cars, you can see the cars over here on the highway. This is the FDR Drive which connects the east coast of Manhattan. It runs um, all the way to the Harlem River Drive, which goes to uh, Inwood, the northernmost neighborhood in Manhattan Island. And on the southern tip, it goes all the way to Battery Park. I'm not sure if this was formerly a entrance ramp to um, the highway here, but it's kind of neat. And this kind of looks like a roller coaster, but it's actually an art sculpture. This is the Andrew Haswell Green Park. With a nice view of the East River, right here. 
down there is mostly uh, construction equipment. Oh man, those tides look very fierce. Wouldn't want to be swimming in that. But looking across, that's Roosevelt Island. And you see the Roosevelt Island Tramway Station. But yeah, pretty neat place. I'm glad I could showcase this place to you all right now. But we're going to get back onto York Avenue and walk the remainder of this um, route to the Carl Schurz Park. And that's located around uh, 86th Street. Now, if I were to walk um, the ramp the other way, you'll actually go to a, another park called the John Finlay Park. Actually, it's called the John Finlay Walk. The John Finlay Park is near Carl Schurz Park, where I'm going to. No, actually, I'm looking at the map. It's never called John Finlay Park. It's just John Finlay Walk. But it's a, uh, it's a pathway for cyclists and people walking around to enjoy on the waterfront. I can take that path too, but I think this route is more interesting. There's two people walking their dogs in front of me. Here's a playground which is under construction. But the handball court seems to be open. The issue over here that I have with this park entrance is that it can get very busy, especially over here, 60th Street and 59th Street with all the bridge traffic and the actual highway entrance ramp itself, which is coming in another block over here. Actually, the entrance ramp is two blocks down. So here's the reconstruction of the park. Actually, it's just the re uh, comfort station that's being renovated. The playground itself is open. And it's a very lively public playground. Many kids are here enjoying the nice spring weather. So this is the FDR Drive exit ramp. I think that this is also the Queensboro Bridge exit. If cars want to get on the Queensboro Bridge, they exit here and then they make another left up ahead on 2nd Avenue. Well, here we are, York Avenue. Here's the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I'm not sure if this is affiliated with Cornell. I think earlier I confused it as being part of Cornell, but that's a separate hospital. As you see, we're quickly getting into the residential buildings. Many buildings look like this across the street from me, high rise. And over here too. Traffic agents trying their best to manage the traffic around here. As I said before, the traffic situation over here can get really bad. I have a walking signal, yet I dare not cross the street right now lest I get injured.
Looks like across the street from me, I see Whale Cornell Medicine. Interesting how they have medical offices on the first floor of this residential building here. Also, I think in terms of like restaurants and places to hang out over here for nightlife, there really isn't too much unless you go over to the main avenues of like 1st and 2nd Avenue. I like coming down here in the springtime. There's a lot of flowers, plenty of tulips blooming here. Here's another entrance ramp for the FDR Drive. This is the south entrance. And the exit ramp, the entrance and the exit ramp. This cool little uh, overpass here, I think is only for the uh, building residents. It's not open to the public to walk on. Here we've got a school, the Rockefeller University. Doesn't really look too nice in terms of the architecture. This is what's known as the brutalist architecture, which prioritizes um, function over form. A lot of governmental buildings are designed in this kind of style. Very blocky and not too many windows in here. Such a cute dog. You would think this being the easternmost avenue in Manhattan that there won't be as much traffic and plus it's a residential uh, area but as you can see constant flow of cars here it's an issue to do with the highway over there too Lots of flower bloom, uh, blooms over here. I particularly like these red type flowers. They're really nice. Very vibrant. Also very varied styles in the residential areas. This one all red. This one seems more of an older style, more brickwork. And then you have a modern high rise like this one over here that's coming up. This Rockefeller University is still going on. A lot of the campus is all fenced off. I'm not even sure if you can get into the Rockefeller University unless you're actually like working there or studying there. All right, so this is the visitor's entrance. We have to check in with security and present ID. 
so you, there needs to be an appointment to get into the grounds. That's how it works for the Rockefeller University. This is the main entrance. I don't think I've ever been on this campus. No, never. I've always wondered what it looks like in there. Oh wow, I just realized I got the time wrong at the beginning of the video because now it's 4 o'clock p.m. And I started this video like, what, 15 minutes ago? So it was actually quarter to four. Presbyterian Ambulance. This is uh, part of Memorial Sloan as well. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And coming up on the next corner is the New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center. Large hospital in the area. This car is turning. Make sure the driver sees me. actually go down here. I don't think I've ever been down this block to see this side of the hospital. I always like to take um, little detours to see what I haven't seen before. This is called the Greenberg Drive. Looks like this is the uh, emergency side, but really beautiful grounds for this hospital. Gorgeous. Oh, and there's Rockefeller University. You get a good look at it over here. This uh, grating below me doesn't really sound too sturdy sometimes. So this kind of uh, neat. I think over here behind this modern building here used to be the old hospital. It's in a different color and that one looks a little bit more uh, rustic I would say. Got the local halal cart over there. I'm sure that's popular with many of the hospital workers. Right. 
feels like the weather's getting a little bit windy now. It was raining a little bit earlier, but I didn't see any more rain in the forecast. You can see the tulips just blowing around in the wind. Wow, this is a busy entranceway. Here's William Randolph. Hertz Microbiology Research Center. Try saying that five times fast. They've got a pretty nice courtyard in there. Looks like it just started to rain again. I do have an umbrella, but I don't think it's at that point where I need to bring it out right now. If it persists, then I will have to. Oh, look at this, the May 5th truck. Looks pretty lively, very colorful, and they have a lot of items on the menu there. The Helmsley Medical Tower. Wow, there's a lot of activity down there. And I do need to take my umbrella out right now because the raindrops are coming down pretty quickly. Let's get this done. I got my camera out, but that was I got my umbrella out, but that wasn't easy. All right, let's continue. Hopefully, this won't get too bad. The wind's picking up, though, which that's not good. Wind, wind, and umbrella doesn't really mix too well. Hello, cute well, little dogs. Helmsley really Medical Tower. Oh, there goes my umbrella. I just flipped over. Whoa! Oh my gosh, what is going on? Ah! All right, uh, I don't think I could use an umbrella in this kind of weather. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to close this. Ah. An umbrella is no good in this kind of weather. Hopefully the wind calms down so I could close this properly. There we go. Wow. Useless in this kind of environment. Another Mexican food truck, Mexican food taquera, 350 for tacos. Seems like that's pretty much all the food options around here. 
just the food trucks. Here's a uh, Sotheby's. High-end auction house. And we've got a grocery vendor here. <coughs> Hopefully the wind doesn't really hurt their business too much. I know sometimes these vendors can struggle a bit if the weather gets too crazy. Here's 72nd Street, one of the main crosstown streets in Manhattan. The winds seem to be dying down as well as the rain as well. Hopefully it stays that way. Take a look at the higher of these buildings, they're huge. Feels like there must be like 40 floors at least in that building. And then you got older buildings like this over here. I'm surprised this uh, camera is holding up so well with the wind as well. Here's another entrance to the FDR Drive at 73rd Street. And I'm going to put my umbrella up. I think the wind died out enough where it's feasible now. It's kind of strange. You have to have the umbrella ready to open and also ready to close. Here we've got the corner bodega, Cafe York Gourmet Deli. Got the local uh, church across the street, Church of the Epiphany. Wow. My umbrella just flipped again. Someone's car is getting towed. That's not, that's not going to be a good surprise for uh, the owner of that vehicle. Got some more older buildings over here, complete with the fire escapes. Glad I'm not the only one who agrees this is weird weather today. I gotta hold my umbrella in a way where it doesn't flip easy. This 
about to flip there. I don't even need the umbrella now. It stopped raining. All right, now we've got more places to eat. The Green Bean Cafe over there. You've got Subways, but I wouldn't really recommend Subways. I find there's a lot better sandwiches elsewhere. Also a place next to it called Pinocchio's Cafe. Sounds like a play on the Disney character Pinocchio. Bagels and Co. kosher place. I'm sure the bagels in here are amazing. Across the street here because I feel like the other side of the street is more lively. I could showcase some more of the restaurants. Got a racket club over here, New York Health and Racket Club. Also, this residential building across the street from me looks fancy. They even got private balconies on the units and large balconies as well. Here we have Le Moline uh, Cafe. Sounds like a French restaurant. A local cleaners and also Gotham Pizza. I found that Gotham Pizza is a chain all throughout the city. Ooh, ice cream shop. Double Twister, family owned handcrafted ice cream and coffee shop since 73. And here's New York 77 Barbershop. Looks very stylish and fancy in there. The York Avenue Kitchen. Looks like the York Avenue Kitchen is vacant now because I don't see any signs of a kitchen inside there. Public School 158, nice architecture on this public school. Jupioca, juice and tapioca. Well, that's a uh, interesting combination. Fresh juice with tapioca pearls. I'll be down to try that. East Side Markets. Looks like they got plenty of food options for you here. Egg whites, omelets, burgers, Philly cheesesteak, hot food. Really awesome. Local branch of the New York Public Library over here. So there's actually a lot more uh, eating places and nightlife as you go up north on York Avenue. But in the 60s, it's mostly hospital places and large residential towers with not much going on there. Salvo's Pizza Bar. That looks cool. Caccio de Pepe. 
We got a sushi place across the street. Kobe Sushi. Oh my gosh. Just tripped in a tree bed. Here we have YFC Eskiatoro. Oh my gosh. Wow. Some of these drivers can be very brazen. Are they backing in, going out? I don't even know. This driver's going in. Wow, busy parking lot. Felt like that original car coming out of the driveway was a little bit too close to the person in the driveway. Sterling and graph floral design, but it's pretty nice. And we also got the York Deli over there. I like the old school sign that they have on the top. Even the Pepsi sign is old school. Here's 79th Street, another major crosstown street. Lots of renovations happening to this building. Scaffolding all over. Also, I couldn't even see the Dwayne Reed until I saw the sign on the outside that it was a Dwayne Reed. I think this is the first uh, full-service supermarket I saw on York Avenue, D'Agostino's. They've got the daily deals in the window on display, the 80th Street Market. Family owned and operated since 1932. Here's an interesting location for a Starbucks right in between these uh, buildings here. Actually seems to be a very busy Starbucks as well. Looks like this used to be the Prince Tea House but now it's for rent. This one's also for rent. It's a really neat store. Eli Wilner and Company, old school sign there. Like this deli in the middle of the block. very near Carl Schertz Park right now and the Gracie Mansion which is the mayoral residence
That's a really neat little building on the corner there. Red building, very small with the laundromat on the first floor. You've got a, wow, Italian restaurant here since 1900. Otto Manelli established 1900, homemade Italian cooking. Hey, right. what's you up? All over the place. Yeah, I came nice to York Avenue to today. Nice. Our neighborhood. Well yeah. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Thank you. Keep it up. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> what part of the world? Just watching you walk around is amazing. Oh, thank you. There's a lot of good spots around here. I'm You're looking. You're picking them all. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it up. It's been a while since you I've been here. Walking, that's for sure. Yeah. Always pleasure to see you. Yep, take care, man. This place looks very old school. Ottomanelli Brothers. Prime meats, brick oven bread. Very neat. Brisket, short ribs. Joseph Cleaners. Street. Really nice mural across the street. Kind of looks Egyptian, maybe uh, English a little bit. Like the Great Ben Tower. Looks like an Indian place over there. Mumtaz Indian cuisine. The saloon looks like it's no longer there. Here's the Nirvana Beauty Salon. Lash and Nail Spa. Logos Bookstore. Really old school spot. and also a car trading place and comics. Not too many of those around anymore. Gracie's Wines. I'm going to cross over the street again over here just because I don't want to do it at the busier intersection up ahead. Maduva York 84 bagels and deli. Interesting how they combine bagels and deli together. And also when many people think of the Upper East Side they think that it's very wealthy and affluent here but you have many buildings like these which are in the old style and some of these apartments can be very small with some more reasonable rents so not everyone who lives in the upper east side is very wealthy Got a 7-Eleven here.
Wow, a Middle Eastern place there. Nargila Grill and a graphics art place. And an Irish pub, Bailey's Corner. Wonder how this little pizza shop here on the, is on the corner. Arturo's Pizza. Seems kind of neat. Looks like they have a special two slices and a can of soda for $5. It's a really good deal. Well, this uh, could be a very fitting end to the video here underneath the scaffolding, making a right onto uh, Carl Schurz Park here. There's still one more avenue to go after this. There's a East End Avenue, but it's a very short walk to get over there. The name of this place across the street from me on the corner is called The Mansion, referencing the Gracie Mansion. Hello. Nice little dogs. There's actually a really neat little, uh, I would say like a quarter of a block coming up. And it's one of the most expensive uh, pieces of land in New York City. Forgot the name of the actual like dead end street here, but yeah, huh? it's very historic. These buildings all around me right here are high-rise buildings, doorman buildings. If you're going into the building here and you don't um, live here, you have to be announced. There it is, Henderson Place. I see the sign now. But this... Um, area over here is a landmark area maybe I could even walk across the street if the traffic is quiet enough and see Henderson place Any cars coming? Yes, there is, just my luck. And a taxi. Sounds like that car got a water bottle trapped under it. Here it is, Henderson Place. Really old school type architecture. Aha. Uh -huh. It was developed by firm Porter and real estate investor John Cleese Henderson in 1880 to 82. You like Yesenia before? So Carl Schurz Park used to be called the East River Park. Yeah, I just looked at it. Uh, <gasps> Stop! 
All right, and I've made it to Carl Schurz Park. I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk to the water side of the East River and then end the video here. It's a nice little illustration here of the Big Apple in the night sky painting on a giant apple. You can see here, these used to be the cherry blossoms, but unfortunately I was too late to come here to enjoy all these trees and all their splendor. All their petals are all littered all on the ground now. But it does smell nice still. But you can use your imagination. One of the most unique features about this park is this central area here with the spiral staircase. I think that person over there must be doing TikTok videos. All right, let's go up here. And we're still gonna see Roosevelt Island, by the way, but the northern tip of Roosevelt Island. If we zoom in, we'll also be able to see Astoria, Queens. A complete other borough. So here's the John Finlay walk, which I saw earlier. And there's the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Also over here is the Astoria housing projects. The new development happening over there by Howlett's Cove, RFK Triborough Bridge and Hellgate Bridge beyond it, also Randall's Island. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video walking along York Avenue in the Upper East Side, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and I will see you next time. Take it easy everyone. Bye-bye.